We're shifting our focus to some other breaking developments now coming in amid the ongoing storm. Over the initial comments that had been made by Udhanidhi Stalin on Sanatan Dharma, there is a fresh tweet that has now come in from him and we'll just put out a screenshot of that tweet as well. The tweet has no text, it just has a picture of a burning mosquito coil. Remember the context of this is the original remarks that had been made by Udhanidhi Stalin where he had gone on to say that just like dengue and malaria, Sanatan Dharma also needs to be eradicated. That's the picture that he in fact has tweeted and this remember had resulted into a big political war of words and he managed to get some support within the opposition but largely many of them came out and condemned his remarks. Let's first bring in our colleague Purnima Murli who is joining us on the broadcast. Purnima, there is no text in the tweet, there is just a picture of a mosquito coil. What is the larger messaging that is being sent out by Udhanidhi Stalin? Well, in fact, uh, he's, uh, he's still uh, raking up the, the Sanatana Dharma controversy. Remember, Udhanadi Salad said that just like malaria, dengue uh, and other diseases, uh, Sanatana Dharma should also be eradicated. And today, the BJP is all set to intensify its protest, Anamalai to spearhead protests in Chennai this evening. So, uh, even as uh, there have been a massive outrage and backlash that Udhanadi had faced over the last one week over his Sanatana Dharma remarks, yet again, an indirect message uh, from uh, from Udhanadi Stalin through his tweet, clearly saying that he stands by whatever he said, continues to remain defiant, and uh, and in fact continues to maintain that whatever he said on Sanatana Dharma, he will reiterate that in the run up to 2024 elections. That's the message that's coming in from Udhanadi Stalin. Purnima, as you're rightly pointing out, over the last 10 days, this controversy has only escalated with the BJP wanting either an apology or the dismissal of the HRNC minister. But as far as the DMK is concerned, they've still stuck to their stand. And it's not just Udhanidhi Stalin, the likes of A. Raja and many others have also come out and supported Udhanidhi Stalin. In fact, our viewers would remember A. Raja went a step forward and said the comparison made by Udhanidhi Stalin was soft. It should have been compared to diseases like leprosy or maybe HIV. Even as the BJP continues to protest, what's the plan as far as the DMK is concerned? Well, both the DMK and the BJP sticking to its stands and also planning to intensify their uh, uh, their statements made on Sanatana Dharma. While the BJP is planning to uh, protest against Udhanadi Stalin and the HRNC minister who remained a, who they he says remained a new spectator when Udhanadi made the statement, uh, the DMK also now sticks to it continues to remain defiant and Udhanadi at every given platform and opportunity uh, once again reignites the Sanatana Dharma uh, remark just like the way he just put out a tweet uh, uh, Udhanadi Stalin over the weekend also said that he will continue to speak against Sanatana Dharma and even if that costs the government to dissolve he will continue to speak against Sanatana Dharma and his opposition towards the practices uh, followed uh, by people uh, people who believe in Sanatana Dharma. So that's the statement that's coming in from Udhanadi. Uh, he made the statement on Saturday and now yet again another that he will continue to oppose the practices of Sanatana Dharma. He also now uh, to its stand while well, BJP is so set to intensify protests against the DMK, especially Purnima, we seem to be losing your line. We'll just try and re-establish that connection with Purnima. But as she was rightly pointing out, it looks like this entire row is not going to die down anytime soon. Our viewers would remember it was almost a week ago when the original remarks were made by Udhanidhi Stalin, who had gone on to say, just like malaria and dengue, Sanata Dharma also needs to be eradicated. After that, you did see a lot of extreme reactions coming in from the likes of the BJP and many within the opposition as well. The BJP went on to reiterate that this is just an anti-Hindu mindset. But what is also interesting to watch out here are the reactions that came from the opposition bloc itself. The likes of the TMC, the likes of the Uddha faction as far as the Shiv Sena are concerned, they all came out openly and condemned these remarks made by Udhanidhi Stalin saying no communities, you know, 
uh, no community can be heard just because you want to make a political comment. But despite all of that, the DMK, as I pointed out, has refused to apologize or take back their original remarks. In fact, last week, we did see a reaction that came in from A. Raja also, who said that possibly this was a softer comparison. The comparison should have been to leprosy or HIV. I believe our colleague Purnima Murli is in fact now back with us. Purnima, the other aspect that I want to discuss are the reactions that continue to come in from the opposition bloc. Because many within the opposition bloc realizing that this could give the much needed ammunition to the BJP. The Congress took its time but then came out last week, distanced themselves from the remarks that had been made by Udhanadi Stalin. TMC also came out, condemned the remarks. The Uddhav Shiv Sena faction also came out and condemned these remarks. So it's not like that Udhanadi Stalin or the DMK is getting a lot of support support as far as the opposition is concerned. Is that not a real concern as far as the DMK is concerned? Well, it, 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 is, a, it is a concern as far as DMK is concerned. The sources from the DMK say that uh, uh, the spokespeople and senior leaders are asked to refrain from speaking on Sanatana Dharma, considering that the Congress has also directly said that they are against the remarks made by Udenadi Stalin. Not just Congress, but other national parties who are part of the India Bloc uh, Alliance are also uh, now opposing or uh, trying to distance themselves from the statement made by Udenadi Stalin. However, uh, Udenadi Stalin, time and again, uh, has been uh, speaking against Sanatana Dharma, saying that even if that means that the government, uh, w even if that means that they will not form the government yet again, he will still continue because that's what the party believes in. That's what the DMK has always stood uh, against the practices of Sanatana Dharma. And therefore, uh, Udenadi Stalin, even today in his tweet, has once again uh, made it clear that he sticks to his stance despite the opposition that the DMK is facing from some of the national parties, including the Congress. Purnima, I'll just request you to stay on with us. We, in fact, want to take in a reaction from the BJP. In fact, we have the Tamil Nadu BJP spokesperson, Vinoj P. Selvam, joining us on the broadcast. So, good to have you with us here on CNN News 18. As I was discussing with my colleague, the DMK refusing to apologize or move beyond this controversy. In fact, the fresh tweet that has been put out by Udhanidhi Stalin has no text in it, but just a picture of a mosquito coil burning. How do you see the narrative that continues to be pushed by the DMK? See, DMK has always been an anti-Hindu anti party and they continue to be the same. Only during elections, the leaders of the DMK go to temples and fill their foreheads with kumkum and uh, uh, ashes and they come and they post for photos and uh, uh, videos. Otherwise, throughout the four years when they are in power, they always involve themselves in the minority appeasement. So they believe that attacking the majority community of the country, putting them down and insulting them, just because Hindus are a tolerant bunch, just because they are tolerant and they uh, have been taught by the religion to stay tolerant, the, uh, the DMK takes advantage of this factor and uh, for getting the minority votes of the state, they continue to yeah. attack the Hindus and this is not new. Now who should answer to this majorly? is the, uh, the alliance which has been formed at the center by the Congress. Hmm. Now, if the Congress has to answer, if they are for this... But Mr. Selvam, last culture. week the Congress has already come out and distanced themselves. So, they've in fact made their position very clear. The Congress came they out and said that we've condemned these remarks and they also said that we're distancing ourselves from these remarks that have been made. So, they've made their position very clear. But what I want to essentially ask you is the kind of counter that's coming in from the DMK. The DMK all of last week has gone on to say that yes, while the BJP is an up in arms, they're failing to recognize the real issue, which is caste discrimination which still continues to be a big reality on the ground. Exactly. Caste discrimination within the DMK seems to be a big reality. Caste discrimination in DMK rule Tamil Nadu is a reality. We keep saying, you know, uh, three weeks back in a school in Tirnalveri district, children, school children studying in the 10th and 11th standard, they've taken sickles and uh, axes in their hand and entered the house of a Dalit boy, a co-student and his mm. sister, and they've attacked him brutally. Now, that is the kind of uh, caste discrimination which is being practiced in Tamil Nadu. The, the poison of caste discrimination has reached schools under the DMK rule. So, DMK should be ashamed of themselves. Mm. And the DMK should answer if they will ever be ready to hand over the presidentship of their party to any person from any other community than their family. 
the day they make a dalit person uh, the leader of the dmk then they can speak about social justice then they can speak about caste discrimination but they will never do that okay. and congress distancing himself from the comment is not enough if they really mean what they say mm. they should distance themselves from a party which is so anti hindu which is so anti uh, beliefs of the okay. majority uh, population of the country